in these problems, we are trying to figure out either a discount on, for an item on sale or maybe a commission that somebody earns at a job or uh, tax on an item. And in all of those kinds of problems, what you're really doing is um, taking the percent of some other number. So in this first problem, uh, the item is 40% off. Well, it's off its original price of $80. So you're going to take 40% of $80 to figure out how much the discount is. Anytime you take the percentage of a number, you're going to multiply. And before you multiply a percentage, you have to convert it to a decimal. So there's always going to be this two steps to do here. So we have 40% of $80 that we want to find. So we're going to multiply 40% times 80. The first thing I'm going to do is convert this to a percent, decimal point 0.1, decimal point 0.2 to the left. So that's 0.4 as a decimal. And then we're going to multiply that by 80. And I'm just going to set this up as a multiplication problem like so. So 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 8 is 32. And then we put one place after the decimal point. So we're saving 30 two dollars pretty good deal actually all right another related kind of problem is this one it says a salesman earns eight percent commission so a commission happens on a job where usually where you're selling things and you get as like a bonus or as an extra part of your salary a certain percent of the value of what you sold so this says a salesman earns 8% commission on all the merchandise he sells. Last month, he sold $5,000 worth. So in addition to whatever he normally earns, he's going to get 8% of $5,000 extra in the paycheck. So how much is the commission in dollars? Again, we're taking 8% of 5,000. So we're going to convert this to a decimal first. So decimal point here, one, two to the left. So that's 0 0.08 and we're going to multiply that by 5,000. So we'll set that up like a multiplication problem. So 8 times 0, 8 times 0, 8 times 0, 8 times 5 is 40. And then we've got two digits behind the decimal point. So that goes there. So it looks like $400 is the commission. Pretty nice chunk of change. All right, one other type of problem um, that works the same way is figuring out how much um, a sales tax or a tax rate is. This problem says an item has a listed price of $65. If the sales tax rate is 5%, how much is the sales tax? And this is a good thing to know if you're in a store and you've got, I don't know, let's say you had $67 in your pocket. Could you buy this $65 item if there's going to be a 5% sales tax? Would you have enough? Well, let's figure it out. Let's figure out what the tax is. So 5% of $65 will move the decimal point two places to the left first to convert it to a decimal. And then we'll multiply that by 65. So 65 times 0 0.05. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. The rest are 0, so I don't need to worry about them. I just need to get the right number behind the decimal. So 325. So the sales tax is 325. If you have $67 in your pocket, you do not have enough to pay. You need an additional $1.25 to buy that item. So that's a little bit of work with some, some word problems that involve taking the percent of a number.